myself guys so I wanted to do like a little bit more of a personal like behind the scenes type of setting for this video because this is gonna be my first little advice video that I'm giving and I just don't want it to be all fancy and set up I just want it to be like from one girl to another you get what I'm saying kind of reminds me of like how Jerry Springer used to like come back with his final thoughts <laughs> with these tribe tea videos that I do and like the advice that I give and stuff like that I do have people that ask me you know like oh Naja how do you do this or like what is this or what is that like do you think this do you think that so I decided to do this little advice thing every once in a while uh, with just frequently asked questions that I do get pertaining lifestyle here we are this video is going to be how to successfully and permanently cut people off now huge disclaimer before I get into this this works 90% of the time and that 10% has to do with you if you don't have self-discipline and you're not really done this isn't gonna work I do want to make a disclaimer I don't want anybody using this video lightly so I would only okay let me roll it back I am a firm believer in not burning bridges I don't think you should burn every bridge just because one person lied to you or Becky says she wasn't going to the mall then you check on snapchat she's at the mall like this isn't that type of video this is for if somebody has done something that you completely cannot come back from this is a video for if somebody is showing you repetitively with their actions that they do not care when you tell them hey I don't like that or hey can you please not do that to me if this person is basically stopping your way of life from being the best it could be this video is for you for one you need to figure out if is the reason that I'm cutting this person off um you know is it it like this is not a video for ghosting girl this is a video for cutting off all right I'm not talking about not talking to them for a few months and then you come back hey girl are you different oh no you're not but now we're friends so I'm back in the no, that's I'm talking about cutting off like I'm not talking to you your mama your daddy your granddaddy Your life from this point on will no longer have that person like type shit The first thing you want to do on how to cut somebody off is you need to decide again Is my reasoning for doing this valid like am I going to the extreme right now over something small? Or am I just fed up and I'm done and this is really fucking with my peace and I need to move on. You need to decide why am I doing this? If you think this is a good enough reason to cut them off and you just it just can't be repaired, keep watching this video. Before you cut somebody off, you want to have that communication. You want to let them know like, "Hey, I'm not happy with this relationship or this relationship." And I'm not meaning boyfriend, girlfriend, 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 boyfriend, boyfriend. I mean like friendship, family. I think a lot of people forget that because they view breakups and stuff like that with only relationships as in like intimate uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, spousal type shit. Nobody really thinks about the other type of relationships such as family and friends and siblings, stuff like that. So you need to have a full communication with them and let them know where you stand, how you feel. And then even ask them, are you doing something that you know is a disconnect for them as well don't make it like a like an attack like oh you did this to me you did this to me because all that's gonna do in their head when you do cut them off they're gonna be like they're being a victim they didn't want to hear what I had to say blah 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 so do an open dialogue like don't attack them I know your feelings are hurt obviously or maybe you have no feelings anymore it's just gone on for so long you're numbed out you need to give them an opportunity to tell you stuff about yourself even if you feel like they're such a piece of shit. Oh my God, I don't believe anything they're saying. Like it's, it's just a bunch of malarkey, they're gaslighting, whatever. Just let them say something. Let them tell you something because for all you know, it could be an easy fix. It could just be a miscommunication and you don't gotta cut off. You get what I'm saying? But again, I really feel like you need to have that last hard convo of like, look, if these things don't change, I don't want to continue this relationship. I'm out. I'm gone. Like, period. I don't want to continue this friendship. I don't want to continue whatever. Like, I have to go for my sanity, my sake. You want to have that conversation first so that there is no confusion down the line. There is no miscommunication of where both of you guys stand if actions don't cease. Now, if they still continue to do the actions or if maybe you can't give them what they're asking for and you're like throwing in the towel type shit, you can do one or two things. Some people do the formal, 
Um, I loved our friendship. Uh, uh, you're always gonna be my family no matter what, but I gotta go, or you get what I'm saying? You could do that. Or you could just not speak to them. <laughs> a lot of the times when you get to the point of cutting off, a lot of the times, if you're watching this for the right reason, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to do this too, or you're familiar with this scenario of the friendship or the relationship has already died to the point where y'all could just not text each other and it's like a normal day. Like y'all could not call each other, it's like a normal day. Y'all already haven't been in contact like that. So you really don't need to do a goodbye text. It just is what it is and y'all just drift apart. So as I said, you can either do one of two things. If you're in a scenario where y'all already ain't talking and like you already know your goodbye text is gonna be left on red, I mean, Unless you really got to get it off your chest, girl, you really don't got to. But some of you guys, I will suggest, you know, maybe do a goodbye text. You know your people better. Or maybe do a meetup. But, you know, it's coronavirus right now, so that's why I'm saying text. But preferably do it in person. Do this in person. But I understand the type of climate we're in, girl. That's why I'm saying, like, you literally, you really need to sit down with yourself and say, is this a petty reason to cut somebody off? And really ask yourself, do I just want to ghost them? Or do I really need to cut them off? In order to cut them off and I know and I know and I know and I know because I used to be this girl I used to be the oh I would never tell my friends who to be friends with I used to be her I did but in order to successfully cut someone off I feel like you need to let those mutuals that you have know hey this is why me and so-and-so are no longer friends this really hurts me I'm not telling you who to be friends with or nothing but I just want you to know this person did that to me. And we're in 2020, people love to say, if I'm following your abuser, let me know. If I'm hanging out with your your abuser, let me know. Hopefully you'll have some friends that are like, whoa, no, that's not cool. I respect that you told me that and I will talk to them separately and I'll make my own decision. You get what I'm saying on what how I wanna move forward. Then you'll have some people who will just straight up be like, like uh, okay, well that was you. Uh, this is me and they've been cool to me so but I'm gonna be so real with you guys depending on why You cut this person off. It's kind of imperative that Your mutuals are on the same page and it sucks that they gotta pick a side But in a sense there has to be a loyalty somewhere. I don't know. That's just me a lot of y'all may not agree with that but I feel like it really keeps things well-rounded because what happens when somebody is a mutual every now and again and, oh have you heard from so and so no i haven't heard from so and so because i cut them off just grow the fuck up so then you just keep getting reminded and that's what makes it hard to be self-disciplined and actually cut people off because in your head you're like oh well they're all having fun with that toxic person and i'm missing out you get what i'm saying so that's why i said uh i know some people will disagree but as I come into adulthood, I'm realizing like loyalty is very rare and a lot of people aren't loyal and a lot of people don't have empathy. Even though they like to act like they do, a lot of people don't have empathy and a lot of people can't put themselves in your shoes when you're being treated poorly by a person that's treating them oh so well in their own shoes. Please don't be that guy, by the way, guys. Don't be that guy. Just grow the fuck up. Also, how to, I, I, I skipped a part, I'm sorry. How to physically cut them off. You need to block them. You need to set your phone to only answer numbers that you know, because a lot of people excuses that they like to have to cling on to these friends is, oh, well they keep getting numbers and blah, 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 blah. Set your phone to only getting numbers you know. Unfollow them on all social medias. If you have to block them, block them. I mean, if you gotta block them, block them. There's no shame in that. Again, this is all for your peace. This whole video is for your peace. Do not feel embarrassed that you need to block somebody, that somebody brings you that much uncomfort. Like what I did when I cut somebody off um, years ago, I told my family, I let my family be aware like, hey, this person ain't about to be around anymore. Do not ask me about them. Don't talk to them. If they try to call you, don't pick nothing up. Like. It is what it is, that shit's done. You just need to clean them off all socials. Um, if you are really, really close with this person and you like share passwords and stuff like that, I'm gonna need you to change all of your passwords to new passwords, <clears throat> depending on how close you were with this person. Going back to the mutual things, you might need to unfollow some mutuals. Doesn't mean you don't have to be friends with them in real life. Like again, it's up to you. But what I have learned, I will wholeheartedly admit 
that was my problem when it came to the cutting off process. I thought I had successfully cut people off, but I realized when I get on my phone, I'm seeing my our mutuals hanging out with my abuser, hanging out with my old friend that they said they don't like. That that psych that psychological shit should really fuck with you because in your head you're thinking, oh well, people can be friends with who they want to be friends with, but at the end of the day, there is a loyalty factor depending on this the specific scenario of why these people were cut off and I had to come to terms with myself like no the only way you can really do it is when everybody is out and I will say once everybody's been out no no infiltrators looking at me type shit like I felt so much better with the whole cutting off thing it doesn't feel like I cut anything off and that's what it's supposed to feel like it's supposed to feel like you have moved forward it shouldn't be like you're moving forward with somebody tapping on your back all the fucking time and that's what it feels like when some mutuals do it are involved with the person you're cut off now again some people might think i'm being toxic i don't know girl but i just noticed that that's what worked for me and that was something that was holding me back a lot from being like completely over it cutting people off isn't easy some of y'all might have situations where you just met somebody and it is easy for you but the majority of the time when you have to look up videos like this is when it's hard. These are people you care about. It's just a mess. It just trust me. When you when you have that conversation with mutuals and then you see how they act afterwards, then act accordingly. It's all about actions, 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 actions. When it comes to cutting people off, there is no more, I'm gonna do this, or I want to do this, or I will do this. Like, no, do it. If they're not doing it, don't believe it. When it comes to cutting off family, that's a doozy. I get people um, hitting me up with chai teas, not just about cutting off friends, not just about cutting off uh, exes, but cutting off family. And that's a touchy one for me because again, I've, I've just always been like family before everything. I mean, that's the only family you got. That's your blood. You just got to deal with it. Um, and I kind of grew out of that too, because in a sense, some of your longest term friends, those people essentially are kind of like your family if they've been there for long enough. And some people would argue, well, you've been friends with them for 15 years, so that's like your family. You just gotta deal with them. And I've outgrown that. I've outgrown it. I've outgrown it. I don't know. I just feel like there's no point in stressing yourself out over the comfort of others, bro. Like. Just because other people want to be slimy and shit doesn't mean you just gotta be sitting right in the slime ball mess. You could definitely choose to wipe yourself off and fucking leave. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm trying to think, what else, what else? But yeah, change your passwords, change your phone. If you gotta change your phone number, change your phone number. Um, make it so that only numbers that are in your phone can call you. Um, let your family know if it isn't out like let your family know because usually if it's a long-term person They're gonna try to go to the family because So let your family know what's tea what else? Oh, make sure you have a support system That's another thing when it comes to cutting people off You need a support system for your mental health because when you're so accustomed to a certain person being there and there's certain ways and shit You may feel like you deserve like you get what I'm saying. You could be it could fuck you up like you need to have a support system of some kind, of some kind, and you need to realize the reality that you're probably gonna have to adjust your life. You're gonna, you are going to have to adjust your life without this person, and there are gonna be times where, if that was like, if that was the only person you ever hung out with, you're gonna have to come accustomed to being by yourself for a little bit, or like, if that's a person that you have been dating for a long time, you're gonna have to come accustomed to be a single person. You get what I'm saying? Like so. Before you do any of these things, please make sure that this is it. Like they have crossed the line, like it's done. There is no repair whatsoever because I would never tell you guys to burn bridges. I just want you to put yourself first and put your needs first. Life is way too short to be somebody's fucking punching bag just because it's comfortable, girls. But. Well, I don't know, um, let me know what other topics you guys want me to talk about, whether it be like cheating, relationships, whatever the fuck. Like, let me know in the comments below what other little advice or tips or things that I've picked up along the way you guys wanna know about. Let me know in the comments, how have you dealt with cutting people off? Like, have you successfully cut somebody off? Or better yet, show me some examples of how you have tried to cut someone off, but it just didn't happen. Because girl, I'm telling you, that self-discipline is really what does it because some of y'all are gonna have people that reach out and say that they've changed actions but again how would they reach out to you if you did all these 
I'm trying to tell you, girl. I'm trying to tell you. Look, I'm empathetic too. I'm a giver too. So it, I, it's hard for me too. But trust me, when you've done all those things, it kind of takes it out of your hands. And you don't have to be a self-disciplined because there is no way for you to contact them. There is no way for you to check on them. Like, you get what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm going to just end this. I'm rambling. Um, I will talk to you guys in the comments. Peace.